And now you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead and make your choice. Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Thursday, which means that it is time for another Disney Store doll review. Isn't it divine that you showed up? See what I did there? Didn't? No. Cool! Today I'm going to be reviewing the Disney Store Ursula doll. Now this is not the designer, obviously, because she's gigantic and because she's not as fabulous as the designer doll. So I hope that none of you were tricked somehow into believing that this was not the or that this is, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to start out by saying that this doll is half plastic and half plush as we saw with the Fairy Godmother dolls and with the Fairy Godmother. Well, the Fairy Godmother dolls. And I'm pretty sure Genie's plushy plastic too, but I don't have Genie because I thought he looked cheap. Her arms move. She is slightly poseable. They do not bend at the elbows because, as Jacob pointed out to me, it is very difficult for any doll company to make a curvy doll and to make it articulated. So she does not move anywhere else except for the shoulders, but you can spin them in a circle because that might be pretty cool to do. She has painted red nails, which is different from all the other dolls because I believe that none of them have painted nails, so I appreciate that. They are actually the exact same shade of red that are on her lips here. As you can see, she's gotten this fabulous drag queen makeup. It goes all the way up. She looks a little bit like Maria, and she terrifies me a little bit. Her hair is almost a turquoise silver blue and it goes all the way around with the exception of the front where we have this metallic gray that comes right up along both sides which is interesting that they did that, that was a choice she has her seashell earrings which come off, they're like this purple color, they don't really hang, they're actually part of plastic that's attached to her face they are not their own entities she has her seashell necklace but again it's not an actual necklace and if you look really closely, you can see that there is no paint on top. It's only painted from the front. And even then, the string does not go all the way to the necklace. So, there were some things that were not taken into consideration with this doll, like the painting quality. But I do think her face is fabulous. She looks just like a drag queen. And I think she looks just like her character in the movie. What I do appreciate is that they took at least a little bit of time to detail her hair a little bit and make it seem like there are little waves and curls and stuff in it. So uh, at least it doesn't, you know, look totally, totally cheap. Just a little bit cheap. <laughs> her dress, actually when we, when we got her, if you go back and look way back in the videos called Flashed by Ursula, we were opening her up and her shirt popped off and her titties were swinging in Jacob's face. Not really swinging, because they're plastic. So, he just started screaming uncontrollably, and I didn't get the entire thing on clip, but apparently that happened to him when he got his doll too, and it's happened to other people. When they get this doll, and they take her out of the box, she flashes you. So just be aware of that, if you are to get this doll. Now let's move on to the bottom. They gave her a nice little chubby tummy here and if you look underneath she has a very different fabric because this is kind of almost a I, I would almost call it like a velvet kind of fabric it's this purple but it's got like that consistency to it and on the underneath there's like I don't even know what this kind of material would be called but it's got these dots all over it that are supposed to simulate the idea of her suction cups, which they totally do, but if you feel it, it gives you this weird slimy feeling. No, slimy is not the word, it's like, it almost like a static slime, you know like when your hand gets really staticky and like you can glide your, your fingers together or your hand and like it just it feels different, like there's something else on your fingers. It just, it makes your fingers feel weird whenever you touch it and like when the first time that I felt it, I was like, ooh, that's creepy and like I almost like dropped her because the way that the material is, it's so weird. <laughs> like it gives you this weird feeling on your fingertips and that is what freaks me out. It would have been cool if these had some kind of plastic in them so that you can actually bend them and make them stay a certain way. I think that would have been pretty cool but I mean, I'm not really too crazy about anything extra on this doll. I, I think I, more or less I would have just liked a little more detail work either in the hair or the makeup or just even the general painting of the doll because I think that some of it was not 
exactly take it into full consideration and some of it looks a little bit cheap and I would not pay full price for this doll. I actually got her on a very good sale that time that we went. We got her on a very, very good sale. So yes, that is my opinion on the doll. I would not pay full price for her. So if you happen to see her, I would suggest getting her on like one of Disney stores really big sales like when they do dolls for ten dollars do it then or like a two for twenty just don't don't pay f full price for this I, I highly encourage you not to do that but if you would like to because you really cannot resist this doll then by all means do but there's really nothing too special about her she's just kinda like a cool little extra collectible there's also a King Triton doll which I will not be ever getting because King Triton is not my favorite character and I do not wish to have him on my shelf tormenting Ariel and Eric. Out of my Duffy scale, I'm gonna give Ursula a 4.5 out of 5 Duffies because the painting was not perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all next week with another doll review. I'm sorry this was so short, but there's nothing really to say about this doll. So I will talk to you all next week and tomorrow with another video. Peace out. Y te quemas. Woo.